Welcome back, boys and girls. It's a beautiful day to be outside, and it's a glorious day to make a garden if you have space to do that. Have you ever wondered how you might be able to recycle and start a garden if you don't have seeds? I have onions at my house, and onions aren't my favorite, so they're in the bag and in the refrigerator a while, and if they're there long enough, they'll start to sprout. If you plant the bulb, you'll get a whole new onion plant and lots more onions will grow underground. The same is true at your house if you have potatoes that stay there for a while. They start to make eyes and it's hard to see because this one's just starting to shoot up. But the longer you keep potatoes at your house, the bigger the eyes are. You don't wanna eat them. You can still eat the potato if it's good when you take the eyes off. But if you have a potato with eyes, you can cut it and as long as there's one eye, you can plant it and the potato will serve as food to make a brand new potato plant and new potatoes will grow underground. We might have thought of those things. Maybe even an avocado or a walnut will sprout if it's in water pineapple if you're super lucky. But um, I have lots of carrots at my house. Dogs love carrots and sometimes I get the long carrots. If you cut off the top part that you don't eat and you soak it in a little dish of water, you'll notice a sprout. Now it looks like a plant, but I didn't buy a plant. I took my sprout about two weeks ago and I just noticed that there was some green on it. It's not something I would eat anymore because it's starting to go bad because it's been outside of the refrigerator and it's been in my windowsill, but it's starting to sprout. Eventually it'll grow some roots and when it does, I can put it in the ground and I will have brand new carrots that I can grow at my house. So if you have something you're starting to grow, whether it's flowers or vegetables, tell me all about it in your virtual platform. Until next time.